Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems. Uh, in the previous uh, few videos, we discussed about some optical phenomena. And uh, in the next series of videos, we'll be discussing about modulation of light. So we know that in uh, optoelectronic communication system or optical communication system the main thing the signal carrying you know entity that is a light wave okay and uh, we also discussed in the introductory videos related to optoelectronics about the basic you know uh, features about light so you can watch all those in the first few videos related to optoelectronics. So basically we know that light is an electromagnetic wave which consists of vibrating electric and magnetic field vectors. Okay, They are randomly aligned in the mutually uh, perpendicular directions. You will find them in pairs in mutually perpendicular directions. And we are mostly interested with the electrical vector, electric vector, because that is what we need for optoelectronic communication system. So we are only focused with the electric vector and the electric field vector of light wave. It is represented with respect to position and time as this. Okay. So here E0 sin omega t minus kx plus phi 0 where omega is the angular frequency to pi nu where nu is the frequency k is the wave number phi is the phase or the initial phase or phase constant. So modulation generally it deals with changing one of these parameters amplitude okay either will change amplitude frequency phase okay these are the things that are altered that are changed to uh, you know uh, transmit the signal that needs data or the information that has to be passed from the sender to the receiver okay so here the optical transmitter or modulator from the sender side it performs modulation okay and here and the receiver side it performs demodulation okay so these are the basic things so the two key components here in the optical communication system which are you know, which deal with the process of modulation that is the optical transmitter or modulator on the sending side and the receiver or the demodulator okay so the modulator it modulates the light signal which is the carrier signal generated by the source which can be light emitting diode or laser so we'll discuss about that later altering its amplitude frequency or phase as per requirement and the demodulator it extracts the original data signal or the message signal so this is the whole process of modulation so generally what happens is that uh, while performing modulation when it comes to amplitude changing the amplitude radiant intensity of the light wave comes into play so if you remember we discussed about uh, photometry and radiometry so photometry is basically uh, a subfield of uh, radiometry. Radiometry deals with the overall electromagnetic spectrum, whereas photometry it deals with the visible portion. But still, uh, the luminous flux or the radiant flux, it is the luminous energy emitted per second by the light source or the total luminous power, Okay, the luminous flux and luminous intensity it is the luminous flux emitted per unit solid angle so when it comes to amplitude of the light wave this 
radiant intensity or luminescence and intensity that comes into play and the other ways in which modulation or altering the characteristics can be done is by changing the frequency phase pulse width direction which is which depends on the polarization status so if you remember we have discussed about polarization also so polarization is basically restricting the vibrating electric vectors of light wave in one plane in one direction or in one plane so we are only concerned with the electric vectors we are not um, the magnetic field vectors that is not important for us we are only concerned with the electric vectors so restricting the electric vectors into one plane that is called as polarization so polarization can be achieved by various ways through reflection through refraction double refraction there are a lot of ways so restricting the electric vectors in one particular plane which is called as the plane of vibration that is called as polarization okay so polarization status that refers to you know tilting or rotating of the plane of vibration or the plane of polarization that way we can also achieve modulation so there are a lot of uh, processes involved in it so modulation of light it basically it involves two ways by which we can achieve it okay first is direct modulation or internal modulation second is external or indirect modulation so internal or direct modulation it generally takes into account the photoelectric effect so the two main uh, optoelectronic sources which uh, we will be discussing in optoelectronics that will be light emitting diodes and laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so the internal modulation or direct modulation that will discuss when we'll be discussing led and laser because unnecessarily if i discuss it here that time uh, it will uh, uh, i will be unnecessarily uh, you know extending the whole discussion so at the time of discussion of the led and laser we'll be discussing internal modulation so basically internal or direct modulation is uh, the process involves changing the current okay the driving current to the circuit which produces light okay the photoelectric effect conversion of electrical energy into light energy that is internal modulation so if we increase the current we will be increasing the light intensity so that is the whole principle so by that we can increase the amplitude or intensity of the light signal that involves a lot of other things also so we'll be discussing at the time of led and laser here we'll be focusing our discussion on the external or indirect modulation so external or indirect modulation involves uh with the help of external agents okay with the help of external agents when the light is being transmitted from the source after the light has left the source what external agents we can use to alter its characteristics characteristics means amplitude frequency phase polarization what we can do so that involves the external modulation which we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos so here some uh, commonly used techniques that are that are used that is first is birefringence or double uh, refraction okay so that technique is used so in here a doubly refracting anisotropic crystal is used which splits the ray into two parts ordinary ray and extraordinary ray and that produces a phase shift so the phase is altered in the electro optic modulation an external voltage is applied and that electric field which is applied that produces a certain change in the refractive index and uh, produces a phase shift in the magneto optic modulation a uh, external magnetic field is used okay with the help of a permanent magnet or electromagnet and because of the magnetic field 
the plane of polarization it rotates by a certain angle that is the basic principle and in the acousto optic modulation a piezoelectric uh, sensor or transducer is used which produces sound waves of a particular frequency and because of that there is a change in the refractive index of the medium as a result of which the resultant light wave it gets scattered by the uh, you know the atoms in the propagating medium and it undergoes diffraction bragg diffraction it undergoes and it uh, gets scattered by a certain angle okay that produces a change in the refractive index so these are the basic principles of modulation of light we'll be discussing them one by one in separate videos okay so always remember when it comes to modulation of light we are only concerned with the electric vectors e and the parameters by uh, which are changed to modulate the light they are amplitude okay the amplitude or the frequency or the phase and another thing which can be changed is the state of polarization okay polarization which basically means restricting the electric vectors to a certain plane to a certain direction and if we can rotate that plane by a certain angle that will change the polarization status so these are the only ways in which modulation of light can be done there are two ways internal direct or external indirect internal or direct modulation that deals with the photoelectric effect changing the you know current or voltage to change the light characteristics so that we'll discuss when we'll discuss led laser now we'll be discussing in the next videos we'll be discussing about these external modulation or indirect modulation methods these are indirect or external methods of modulation of light okay remember it is the indirect or external modulation method we'll be discussing them one by one in separate videos so please watch the upcoming videos related to how we'll be modulating light with the help of external or indirect methods so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much